Well, welcome everyone to St. Michael. Taylor and Chloe, your love has drawn us here today as we've gathered. You have both had such beautiful examples of married love and your parents have been a big part of forming you to be the good people that you are. So it's such an honor to preside at your wedding today. We warmly welcome all your family and friends. One day and one step further After almost seven years, uh, here we are. Um, the very first thing I want to say is thank you. Um, from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my beautiful wife's heart, uh, thank you. I have been dreaming of this day every single day since I met Chloe when we were 15. Um, Kendall Dolan introduced us. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. And it's like I haven't been able to, to quite see straight ever since. I, I couldn't believe that someone so beautiful could be so interested uh, in talking to me over everybody else that was there. And to this day, it still shocks me that I, I got so lucky. Um, I can't help but think about her. Um, I can't help but talk about her and to adore every little thing that she does, um, with some small exceptions. You know, we, we fit together perfectly, uh, like the squiggly lines on a jigsaw puzzle. And the only thing that I will ever give her in regards to the love that I have for her is maximum effort. So how is it, how do people stay together for 30 or 40 years? I think it's because marriages are therapeutic. If you put in the work to make it successful. And that work requires from both of you, patience and prayer and self-sacrifice. It can be very hard, it can be exhausting, but the reward is that you know that you have a partner who will have your back at all times. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, forever. And that is peace of mind which is priceless. So tonight, Chloe and Taylor, enjoy and appreciate all of the outstanding people that are here to celebrate. After tonight, get ready for the challenges that are coming ahead. Be prepared to put in the necessary work to overcome those challenges. And when you've done that, you will be able to raise your hand when someone asks if you've been married for 20 or 30 or 40 years. Um, to my beautiful wife, thank you for making me whole, for making me happy, making me smarter. My entire life, I questioned what my purpose on earth was. Um, was it to finally force you to sit and watch Lord of the Rings with me? Um, no, but that was definitely a crowning achievement of my life. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think my purpose was very simple. I was put here on earth by God, uh, and it will always be to just love you and take care of you and be there for you in every single aspect of our life. Um, and I will do that till the day I leave this earth and I will do it long after. I will finish and leave all of you with a quote from my favorite author, J.R. Tolkien. Yes, the guy that Lord of the Rings. And uh, a final closing word to my wife. I would rather spend one lifetime with you than face all of the ages of this world alone. Thank you.
big begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion and good times and in death. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love in your hearts. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Well, I'd like to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Something now